Is this thing on? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson. And boy, do I have something to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you. So take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life. Even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh, wait. Where are we again? Uh, okay, so... This town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but that doesn't matter. Point is, you're writing there, and you'll soon be at Aperture Science Innovators. We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now, though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. Central Station. <clears throat> Wait. Chris, get over here. How do you spell station? Okay. Think about that for a second. Okay. Does station have an extra O before the I? Alright, listen to me. Back your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. <clears throat> Oh, I can't re-record this. As I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain, up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> Last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands-on. I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> anyway, just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You'll know where to go. So, at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counters said that's why they invented elevators. 
So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boy is taken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously, though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine to do all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test could happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the you're fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least 10 of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, 90 tests. We can test whatever we want to, and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mesa. Those guys can kiss my... Anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here. But I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months. So, you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests. The Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Uh, an hour, at most, if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry. We've got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. So, as I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what the crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> Had six signs, boys, disappear. Just <laughs> 